Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll let you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into your reading. We're going to do two overall energies and see where that takes us, okay? Two overall energy for the Capricorn. Okay, these are shuffling weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I feel like you are ascending in your spirituality. I feel like you're being um, intuitive, intuitively pulled in a certain direction. And I feel like it has to do with your career and your finances. I think that you're doing a lot of hoping, wishing, and praying for like, um, like a change. I think you're seeking guidance from your spirituality, from your spiritual team. We have goals and we have the dragonfly, okay? And the dragonfly for me is a symbol of spirituality. And then we have all these pentacles here. So I think that you're going to receive some sort of financial blessing as well. Like something that's due to you, something that's owed to you. Okay, we've had this energy in your past few readings. It might be here again, but it might be talking about the end result. It might be talking about the payout, okay? We have goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. And then we have Dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. I feel like um, you really kept the faith in really hard times, okay? I think you're receiving a blessing, and once this blessing comes in, it's going to change a lot of things. It's going to make you feel restored. It's going to make you feel renewed. It's going to give you some sense of peace, okay? So let's get into it with the Kipper and see what other message is coming in. Yeah, this is that energy of something that was taken from you is being returned. But and they were taking it to to block your blessings, to stagnate you, to to slow you down. Hold they, there was a strategy to this hold back, okay? They think that you it, you know, things come to you easily or you prosper too easily. And um somebody has envious, jealousy issues, okay? Um And they found a way to to try to um, hold back your finances or hold back this gift. There's just this finance that's owed to you and it keeps coming out in your readings. Like they use they like used it as a weapon. Like they weaponized this hold back. Okay, it was like a, like they knew what they were doing. But God said, "No weapon formed against you shall prosper." Okay, and like I said, they were using your finances against you, and that was just temporary. Because I feel like you still maneuvered. You still found your way around this, this this deception. You still made the most with what you had. And you still moved forward regardless. Okay? Clarify goals in Dragonfly for the Capricorn. Okay. Oh. Somebody's receiving their karma. We have the, the card of the message. And this number seven rules this card. And seven is the number of heaven, okay? This is an official letter. This is a sealed letter from the kingdom, from the queen, okay? Um, this is information that's going to set everything straight. I know I told you 
these are documents. These are, these are, I don't know if it's like a will and testament that somebody was keeping from you, holding back uh, something that had your name on it, something that um, legally confirmed that whatever, something was yours, okay? And like I said, what I say, somebody try to scratch your name off or put their name instead of yours. There is a real foul play and they've been caught up. And now that they're caught up, things are going to change. Or this energy had you in despair. But 32 rules this card. And 3 and the 2, that's a 5. And 5 means change. So things are on the mend. Things are going to be changing. Things are going to be restored. I feel like the, the card of justice, okay, where the scales get balanced. I feel like the tables are turning. And the person that had been on the attack is 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 now being attacked themselves. Like they're they're going to face judgment. I'm telling you, karma is a bitch sometimes. And she comes in and she knows the real story. And she gave you plenty of opportunity and plenty of chances to, to make it right. And you still are refusing because you're in your ego. You're too um you're too much in your ego to admit that you're wrong. Here it comes. And it ain't nothing nice. Okay. So this situation is going to be put to rest within a month's time. I think within a month's time, you're really going to start feeling the effects of justice. Really feeling the... Um, of the, the effects of things getting balanced out. We have the expectations card. And for me, this is a timings card and it is representative within a month's time. And if you can see, she's viewing, she's sitting there looking out the window, but this looks like, um, like, a, like a courthouse or some sort of um, municipal building, okay? For the Capricorn. I don't know why I just got somebody got served some divorce papers as well. <sighs> the gift. You all, I told you. <laughs> okay. So the gift i know we've had it in your other readings i wanted to come out like this is an item this is an heirloom this is um paperwork this is that that thing that was being withheld from you and now somebody has to graciously hand it over the 17 rules this card and the one plus the seven that's an eight and eight is the number of abundance okay so whatever is in that box is very expensive it's very pricey Look at this windfall. I mean, I know it says goals and everything, but I'm, as we can see, these are a bunch of coins raining down. Okay. One more for the Capricorn, then we're going to get into it with the tarot. You all. Here it comes. What did I say? I said... I know I fucking just said it, okay? It looked like the coins are raining down. Here is 777. This is all the cherries. This is hitting the jackpot. This is justice with the 11. This is payout time. You are set to receive whatever was taken from you and then add some more onto it, okay? Um, I feel like it's going to be more than what you expected. Like pain and suffering. <laughs> Wow, you all. Okay, let's get into it with the tarot. What else can we talk, tell the Capricorn regarding this situation? Now, Capricorn, let me tell you something. People might be really salty. I mean, if it was jealousy and hatred that initiated this whole thing, imagine what's going to be waiting for you when you receive this payout. So be very guarded. Have a plan and action, okay? 
protect yourself. All right, more for the Capricorn. Okay. This is divine timing. This is an angel of temperance. It may have taken a while, but the angel was here watching over you. You could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, so when you do receive this blessing, you can receive it with open arms. You can receive it without any sort of interruption, somebody getting in the way. If you haven't received it yet, that's why they're working it out so it's safe for you to receive this blessing, okay? For the Capricorn. Ooh. The Five of Pentacles almost wanted to jump out. That's a separation. And I know it's just off the cuff. It's something about divorce papers, okay? So, um, you know, this, this could have been in regards to a separation or a divorce. But I'm, I'm feeling something else, but regarding something legal, okay? All right, for the Capricorn. Okay. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. So this is a gift. This is a gift, okay? And it has nine more brothers and sisters, okay? So that would make the Ten of Pentacles. I think this is just a beginning or whatever is coming to you is going to be coming to you in like um, installments, okay? So I feel like you're set to receive the first installment. You could be dealing with Earth energy as well, Taurus, Capricorn, or... Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And <laughs> the king of money wanted to come out too. Okay. So maybe this was an investment that grew. As it was away from you, it was, I don't know if it, if it was invested. And it grew into something really, really big. Maybe this is something a father passed down to their son. And what, you know, I'm not sure what the circumstances were. Maybe they, you know, maybe this, this King of Pentacles has been, you know, deceased. Look at it, it's in green. Spirituality or the, you know, this could be a loss a loved one that crossed over and left something to their child, but maybe the child was too young to handle the, like, you know, the... The legalities or the paperwork you know so they left somebody else in charge and whoever they left in charge really swindled this kid out of what they deserved okay that's a possibility or you're going from not having much to having it all okay this is the king of money this is a taurus virgo or capricorn this is somebody very financially stable, but this is somebody very humble. This is somebody that worked very hard for everything that they've gained. This is somebody that loves to be in a relationship. This is somebody that loves to be married and create legacies. Okay, so um, this is like a very honorable person. And it's earth energy, so it, it very well could represent the Capricorn, okay? All right. More for the Capricorn. Oh, you all. What have I fucking been saying? Okay, the ace, the ace of pentacles, the biggest pentacle. You are to receive whatever was taken from you. And if even if you're not <laughs> receiving anything that, you know, maybe this isn't your story. There's a big blessing on the way from you, but this is a masculine energy that's set to deliver it. Okay. This is the stag, very masculine. I don't know why I feel like he's tying into this king of pentacles here, this king of money, but this is a very dominant energy. This is big time earth energy. This is a big time payout. Okay. Look at, look at all this money that's on the board. This one, this one, this one to kick it all off with, okay? So 
There's a financial blessing that's headed for my Capricorn, something that's due to you, something that's owed to you, and something that's going to be delivered to you on a silver platter. All right. This is like kind of like a, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like this energy of like really lucky, exciting times ahead for my Capricorn, okay? And I think once this, okay, obviously this reading is very dominated by finances, but I feel like once this is out of the way, you're going to be open to receiving, um, because this has really been taxing on you. You know, and I know um, when the Capricorn is involved with something, um, it really kind of, you know, that obsessive trait of it just like kind of over overtaking everything else. But I also, I know with all these finances here, I am feeling love. I am feeling love. I feel like once you're able to put this aside, I feel like this soulmate energy coming towards you. I feel like because you'll be open to it. Okay, I really, um, I feel like it's, it's, you're coming in, you're going to cross paths with somebody. I don't know if I'm feeling like a childhood crush or I'm feeling like a crush you had like as a teenager. Um, but somehow, some way you're crossing paths with this person. And it's going to open up a whole can of worms, okay? <laughs> and you're going to cross paths with them and they look real good, Capricorn, okay? Or, or this is you. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap this up for the Capricorn. <sighs> this wanted to sneak out. This is the card of desire. This is a card of looking good, smelling good. Um, being a little flashy. This is the card of Sagittarius. This is the Knight of Wands. This is the card of um, excitement. If you want to have a good time, this is who you call. This is also the card of being single and ready to mingle. What did I say, you guys? I know I just said it. Like you're able to put yourself out there because you're able to put this behind you. Okay. So, um, like, I just feel like you're you're ready to let your hair down and really open up yourself to love and having some fun. But, you know, this is the night that you have the best time with. If you want to have some fun, you call the Knight of Wands or, you know, the Princess of Wands or whatever. <laughs> okay, because they'll show you a good time. Um you know, this card also gets some sort of uh, a bad rap. They call it the player card or, you know, um, you know, someone that doesn't stick around. But yeah, that that's it too. But maybe this is you just really feeling yourself and feeling happy and feeling charismatic, you know, putting on a nice outfit and going to the club or, you know, having a little fun and without this stress of this situation weighing you down. And like I said, it, it's allowing you to open up to an, a like, you know, love and relationships. You got to put yourself out there in order to attract, you know, I think that's what you're ready for now. After all this is put behind you. All right, let's start wrapping this up. What is the closing message for the Capricorn? Oh, I, I freaking told you. I know I have to calm it down with my, my swearing. Oh my God, I told you all. We have the star and we have the Ace of Cups. Oh my God, things are going to be on the up and up for the Capricorn, okay? Seriously. Things you've been hoping, wishing, and praying for. Things that you had to heal over. You're doing it, Okay. And you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, 
But really, this is the start of something beautiful. The star comes out after a tower moment, okay? The stars come out, so um, it, it's the card of hope. The stars come out to light your way when you're in the darkness. When that tower falls, you're able to sift through the rubble and take what you can salvage and rebuild your tower so it's stronger than ever and indestructible, okay? And then look at it. I told you guys I was feeling it. This is the Ace of Cups. This is the love offer. So love is also in the air for the Capricorn, okay? So you um, may be presented with a cup of love from a Pisces, from a Scorpio, or from a Cancerian. You don't have to be, but I feel like you're going to come across, you're going to cross paths with someone that you're going to instantly fall in love with, okay? All right, I'm going to leave it there. This is a beautiful reading. I hope it helped you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right. I wish this is my reading. All right. <laughs> Next time, baby dolls. Ciao.